guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is currently Sunday, so I thought I'd come on here, kind of do a Sunday reset, Sunday reset. Also, a come to the gym with me. Your girl's finally got her ass in the gym. For a while, I was just really stressing myself out about it because I'm like, I don't know, I'm, I wasn't really a girl to go to the gym. I've never, y'all know I've been in dance, I've been in cheer. I just never was one to go to the gym a lot, but my apartment has a gym like in the leasing office. Y'all know how long we've been here. We've been here almost like, <laughs> We've been here over a year. Never went in that bitch. <laughs> I have not went in that bitch. Yesterday was my first time going in there. And so it's very quaint. It's very small, but it definitely just made me feel more comfortable. Like someone came in, they were in there for like 10 minutes and then left. Like I was blasting music, stretching, feeling good. You know what I'm saying? Before I get started with this weekly vlog, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Ana Luisa Jewelry for sponsoring this segment of the video. So they just sent me two really cute jewelry pieces and I just want to come on here and show you what the tea is. I've definitely heard of this jewelry company and when they emailed me, I was like, oh my God, like, as you can see, I'm a silver girl. I'm a silver girl and a lot of their jewelry is gold. Went in the crevices and I found some cute silver stuff, okay? So I'm gonna make sure to put the links down below, but y'all better go check out Ana Luisa. They have super cute, high quality, sustainable, waterproof jewelry, okay? I feel like all of their pieces are very mature, very woman-like, you know, very subtle, just classy pieces. I love chunky jewelry. So I'm like, you know what? Let me get in my classy girl bag. Handmade in New York, which is so cool. They have free and fast shipping as well as free return so if you get the jewelry you're like i'm not sure really don't like this design you can return it back and not only can you return you can do exchanges if you're like oh i don't like this necklace i wanted the other one you can do a really fast exchange and it's just amazing but if you're trying to get this jewelry i will leave both the links down below as well as a special link that will give you 30 percent off your entire order all you have to do to claim this discount is go to shopanalouise.com slash nu dash Mackenzie Drake to get 30% off your order. So we first have this super cute card. Look at this New York, Anna Luisa. It's basically like a little, little postcard. Like I see you priority. So here's the jewelry I got. Look at their packaging. Oh my gosh, their packaging is adorable. I love how minimalistic, but also super nice and just resourceful it is. You can see right here, this is climate. This is climate neutral certified, babe. You can recycle this box. And I just love the lettering, the whole look. First, gonna open this box because it's so cute. Look at this box. Ooh, ooh! Like you can just tell this quality is top tier. Like look at this quality. Not only is it so high quality, but you get a two year warranty. So if your jewelry does anything weird, it tarnishes, whatever the fuck, you can contact them and you can get it, your money or whatever the fuck back, okay? Two, two year warranty. A real nice high quality tag on it. Girl, this look is small. This look is small. Louisa girl, Anna Louisa. I'm not a little petite girl, but let's see. Let's see if this will fit me. This is called the Brindley Silver Bracelet and I'm a little sick because it's a little small in me, as you can see. I have a kind of huge wrist. I could still wear this for a freaking picture. Like this is a very high quality bracelet. It still looks very nice nice and chic so yeah I love silver so this is a very high quality twisted rope chain and at the bottom there's a cute little heart there's what the bracelet looks like it just looks like money it looks like wealth like this is a very high quality bracelet I just want to give a huge shout out to Anna Luisa for sending over this super cute jewelry and letting me talk about you guys on this channel like we love a good New York based company make sure you go click the link first thing in my description box to get money off your order and yeah you already know what the fuck is up I love you guys I just got these Nello super calms from TikTok shop and they're like a calming drink mix but these were really nice it came with 20 not enough for how much it was to be honest with you but i've had a couple um i'm about to just make this for my girl because she wanted some but yeah i just want to take y'all with me because going there yesterday really made me feel secure i was like i can bring my camera i can do this you know and i just felt so good yesterday yesterday i submitted my torrid casting call submission and i just want to say <coughs> I just inhaled this. I still have like bloom. I don't really have pre-workout. I'm not really on that type of time right now type shit. You know, like yesterday I just did a full straight hour of the treadmill and I never have done that. Like I've, go I've went to the gym before. I've, I've gone to the gym numerous times, but I've never sat there and been like, 
okay, I'm a hit quick start and I'm gonna continue going type shit. You know what I'm saying? And like, till the time goes out. And I actually did that. And I was very proud of myself yesterday and I wasn't running or anything. I was on an incline for some of it. I'm very, fairly slow, but I'm excited to do it again. I don't know if I'm gonna do a straight hour again, but in the, in the little gym here, um, there's a treadmill, like two cycling bikes and like a weight thing, a mirror, and like, that's it. <laughs> and I actually do have a Planet Fitness subscription, but like, people stress me out and I should have never bought it. And it's not even I should have never bought it because I did go a couple times and I feel like I'm still paying for the shit. But this drink tastes amazing. But yeah, I'm really getting into my, I'm getting into my fitness vibe. Okay, so if you're a gym girly, let me know down below some good like low impact workouts. I mean, definitely I feel like the treadmill's enough for me. Like just walking is really good for you. So yeah. And this has ashwagandha, L-theanine, magnesium glycate, and vitamin D. So that's amazing. I do take vitamin C like pretty daily. It's not even like I wanna force myself to go to the, you know, little gym every day, but I'm gonna like, even if I just do the treadmill for like 15 minutes, like anything, like just get myself there type shit. I need a routine. And it's like right by the pool. So like I can just jump in the pool after, so. We'll see if I jump in the pool after. Cause it's only like 80 degrees outside, but we might go to the movies later. I don't know. We just got a, a lot and it's Sunday, but I'm about to do the dishes before I go just because there's some dishes. But I just wanted to bring y'all with me. Y'all have been asking for a workout with me, whatever. And yeah, like I don't be doing much. You know what I'm saying? But I be doing enough to get me sweating. Like yesterday I was sweating, I was sweating. I was sweating real bad. I don't know what for. Just kidding, I do. But like, it just made me want an Apple Watch cause I just wanna see, I just want an Apple Watch. I should have got an Apple Watch like last week. It's zero sugar. It tastes like raspberry. It tastes like crystal light. Like it doesn't, it doesn't have a weird taste. It's currently 4.30, a little late start. I hope no one's in there. No one better be in there because I am not on that type of time. But here's what it looks like. Like it tastes like juice. It doesn't taste, you know, and it definitely does make me feel calmer. And yeah, you know, I definitely do have high cortisol. Just iconic. I'm gonna have to get another bag of this. I wish they sold this in the store. Like bitch, why wouldn't they sell this in the store? Like this is so great. But like my heart was going so fast because you can like track your heart rate on the treadmill, I'm pretty sure. I don't know how accurate that is. Like, let me know. It was saying my heart rate was like getting up to like 160. And like, that sounds like a lot. <laughs> and I'm not on here to try to get, to give y'all medical advice or anything. I just like, yeah. Yesterday, it really inspired me. So I just want to get a straight week of me walking on the treadmill. like. I know it'll make me feel better. And I know y'all probably, I've had some questions about the bike I got. Y'all know the fitness bike I had. I actually, you know, put it back at my house because it was just, I just didn't want in here and I wanna get something else for in here. And I already bought a gym subscription. There's already a leasing office gym. So I was just like, it's a very cool bike, but like in my apartment, it's just like, it's just like a lot. This is your sign, go outside, go to the gym, whatever you do to feel better. You know what I'm saying? And for the past year, I've really been neglecting my physical body. Like I've just not been taking care of her. I've not been taking care of her. Fitness journey started. I'm not doing no crazy diets. Like that's, I just want to move. I just want to go to the treadmill every day. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> um, it tastes good. It tastes like straight crystal light. Like if you like, are struggling with just like stress levels, cortisol. It's on my TikTok showcase, but it's really good. I'm just gonna take a vitamin C real quick. I need to get new vitamins for real. But I gotta go to the doctor. I gotta go to the doctor before I get more vitamins because I just, I need help type shit. Like, of course I know I wanna take iron and magnesium and stuff like that. But you know, you don't wanna be overly taking vitamins that you don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Like my magnesium levels could be amazing. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. 
This is so good. I'm gonna eat a little snack before I go. I went to my parents' house the other day and I know I told y'all that my dad got a box down and he made steak and that steak was like this thick. That steak was so good. And then they had pork chops and then I took home pork chops and they're just so freaking gas. Like I love pork chops. I don't know what the fuck they put in them. Here's my cute little gym bag. So cute. I just got this keychain from Ju Juicy. I did not get it from Juicy. I got this keychain from Claire's. Very cute. I also got a Hello Kitty keychain from Claire's and I broke it. I literally was trying to take the tag off and I broke it. I have my cute little fan, you know. I just have my AirPods. Actually charge them. Yesterday I did not charge my AirPods. And then I did bring my bikini, but I'm gonna have to come back and change if I go. So these are definitely, definitely my favorite, like before gym, before working out, whatever the fuck. Even if I'm not gonna be working out that day, like, like I've always been obsessed with these. These are just so gas, like not me thinking that this is like a whole meal, but like you can get your calories in type shit, like. And honestly, I have such just like, not a negative perspective on counting calories, but like I have a pretty bad, like, I wouldn't say bad connotation and experience around it. Like this is so gas. This is the Monterey Jack dried cranberries and banana chips. Let's finish this real quick. Clean up around here a little bit and then we're gonna head out. And then it's so lit. I actually just got, um, it's like a gym tripod. Let me show you. I also have some sunnies in here. These are from the dollar store. I got these like a year ago. These are so cute. Aren't these so cute? Give me one. But this is what it looks like. And it's just a magnet. And you know, there's so many different ones, but you just go like this. And you just find something that you can magnetize it and it holds the phone. And I got it from TikTok shop as well. I love this thing. I haven't used it that much, but definitely like for the gym, I used it yesterday. This time I wanna stretch before and after because I, I did the treadmill and I did not stretch before. But I'll do a little life update, yeah. I submitted the torrid thing. I really want it. I really want it. If you haven't seen my submission video, you should go follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. But we're almost at 30K followers, baby, on Instagram. And I'm like, oh my God, like, I love y'all. Kind of hate the digitals I took, but like, I this is my favorite one for sure. Y'all see it? Like, I don't know how to feel. I, like, I just don't like the side one. Cause I feel like you can clearly tell my jeans are like too tight, but like, I just, I had to wear them. I feel like skinny jeans are like the perfect thing for model digitals. And I've never really taken digitals. I did before on my phone and I like submitted them to an agency and shit, but maybe I'll submit to another agency. Let's hope I make it to the finals. Like, come on. I just want to vacuum it up. Mm. Still here? Oh yeah. I wouldn't leave without- She ain't never going to the gym, y'all. Shut up. She's got, she got ready like over an hour ago. I need to eat a little snacky before. Mm -mm -mm. Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing. No such thing. Heart beating fast. Let a nigga know that he alive. Fake niggas, mad snakes, snakes in the grass. Let a nigga know that he arrived. Sleeping on your level, cause it's beauty in the struggle, nigga. It's beauty in the struggle, nigga. Yeah. It's beauty in the struggle, ugliness in the success. Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress. I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less. Compared to some of my niggas down the block, man, we were blessed. And life can't be no fairy tale, no once upon a time. But I be goddamn if a nigga don't be trying. So tell me, mama, please, why you be drinking all the time? Cause all the pain he brought you still linger in your mind. Cause pain still lingers on mine. On the road to riches, listen, this is what you find. The good news is, nigga, you came a long way. The bad news is, nigga, you went the wrong way. The real is better. Life that's better than yours. This thing is life that's better than yours. Think being broke is better. Life that's better than yours. No such thing, no such thing. 
For what's money without happiness? A hard times without the people you love. Though I'm not sure what's about to happen next. I ask for strength from the Lord of the book. Cause I've been strong so far, but I can feel my grip loosening. Quick, do something before you lose it for good. Get it back and use it for good. And touch the people how you did like before. I'm tired of living with demons cause they always inviting more. Think being broke was better. I don't mean that phrase with no disrespect To all my niggas out there living in debt Cashing minimal checks Turn on the TV, see a nigga Rolex And fantasize about a life with no stress I mean it's just sincerely And as a nigga who was once in your shoes Living with nothing to lose I hope one day you hear me Always gonna be a bigger house somewhere But nigga feel me Long as the people in that motherfucker love you dearly Always gonna be a whip that's better than the one you got Always gonna be some clothes that's fresher than the ones you rock Always gonna be a bitch that's better out there on the tours But you ain't never gonna be happy till you love yours No such thing as a life that's better than yours Love yours No such thing as a life that's better than yours As you can see, it's cute as fuck in here It's very echoey But just get started, bitch I can't believe it took me this long to actually come in here and do a workout I don't know, nobody better come in I just like being in here alone And there's a nice AC right near the treadmill So it's nice and cold in here My shirt's from Under Armour Leggings are from Halara, as always, and my shoes are from, I don't even know what shoes these are. I got them with my dance team, but these are Hova Sonics. These shoes are low-key too small on me, like, I need new running shoes, walking shoes. If y'all have a good recommendation for athletic shoes, whatever, let it bitch know. Did I forget my AirPods case? I can't not forget anything. So I like to chew gum, like, before and during a workout, so I'm gonna just pop in one of these Nicorettes, babe. And I need to make a workout playlist because I do not have a good workout playlist. Yesterday, yeah, I didn't have my AirPods, so I was just listening to a random workout playlist. <laughs> <laughs> treadmill look at my back bitch what the fuck bra i have on is so funny oh i just stepped in the wetness mm. but i'm gonna do the elliptical for like 10 minutes and then we might be done because bitch
Plus, I don't call back, so she won't think I need it. Bang it out of jungle. My ball ain't got no jump. Rest in peace, my uncle. Never met, but I still love you. Remember that push from way back. Plan I pay on the pop. Standing up where the killers at. Made my blood chop. This ain't that what you looking at. And with an update of the roster. You can tell it's a rich nigga posture. Y'all gon' wanna spit in it proper. Trapping at school, I was serving bands. Probably was searching my locker. Who did your jury? It look like brass. One of your brush had a stop you. Bitch, I'm one of them. Young Weezy, man, this shit too easy. Different bitch for every season. Showing me that cleavage. I take drugs and feel relaxed. It's like that therapy. She take that piss, I don't call back. So she won't think I need it. I stick this deep inside her throat where it ain't no more breathing. If I don't post and I go ghost, it's gon' be for a reason. Just got my reading, got my reasons. I'm booked out the region. This jury call on me, I'm freezing. No way I'm anemic. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, man, this shit too easy. I got a different bitch for different places, different seasons. Bitch ain't playing a position, cut her off, this shit too easy. I got a dog smash R&B stars right in the band. I don't have a hoes on the west side, think that I abandoned her. I have a pippin' in my blood and I can change the climate. I threw the money on her to the price up like I designed it. Ain't put a president on a bitch, let she get a nigga Minaj. That little IG bitch ain't shit for the end of the car. It just got back. As you can see, I'm sweating. I gotta go up three flights of stairs to get to my apartment. <sighs> but thanks for coming with me to the gym. But that was really, I'm pretty sure I've used a weight. Like, I've used that kind of equipment before. I barely even did a set. Like, I barely did sets. You know what I mean? Like, if y'all are very fitness like, you should leave some workouts I should do in the gym. Ooh, it hurt my arms so bad. I first did 25 pounds and then I did 20 pounds because, bitch, I'm, I'm a newbie to this shit at this point. I've definitely done weights. I've done weights through cheer and dance. Like, I'm not completely a beginner with working out in the gym, but definitely right now, <laughs> my body's a beginner right now. Basically, just got to relearn all the things. But I got in a cute little cool down. I did some kicks, did some arm circles. I don't know, I was just doing random shit. I'm drenched in sweat, but that's what we want. If I don't post and I go ghost, it's gonna be for a reason. Just got my reading, and my reasons. I'm booked out the region. This jury call on me, I'm freezing. No way I'm anemic. Babe, the only music I've been listening to is Party Next Door, ever. I mean, I'm always just listening to Party Next Door. I don't know what it is. I don't know what crack he puts in his songs. I can't stop. I can't stop. Putting a little bonnet on. Do a quick little body shower. Hopefully my hair doesn't get messed up. Control for certain. Up on my birthday. I walk you standing for it. So I just got out the shower, period. The hair looks good. It's already 7.31, so we might just have a night in. I don't know why I thought I could do the treadmill with no shoes on. I mean, I had socks on, but I'm pretty sure I have a blister on my foot right now because it hurts. Why does my face already look skinnier? No, I'm tripping. My skincare routine has not really changed. What's up, man? What you want? Hey, man, let me get a hey, man. You want a hey? You want a fat ass or you want a little like? I posted this on my Instagram. Bitch, I have been so beyond obsessed with these. And if you don't know, I'm like, I love soda, you know? I low-key want to just switch to this, like this and like kombucha. Well, people be saying, you know, kombucha is kind of like, you know, like cranberry juice. I'm a very cranberry juice girly. And I need to get more cranberry juice. Anyways, I don't really like all soda. I really just like Sprite. And I feel like Sprite is like a good... No, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's soda. Okay. If you guys haven't tried this, and I don't like ginger ale. I don't even like cherry, bitch. I don't even like cherry. I used to not... Like, literally, the smell of cherry, cherry medicine, it used to make me gag. But this Canada Dry Fruit Splash Cherry Ginger Ale. This shit is so gas caffeine free i need to try the sugar free one it's just so good 
And then snail mucin. If y'all haven't tried snail mucin, this shit is so good for dry skin. And just, I like to smack it in. And then just like, uh. <laughs> This guy is listening the same girl that. To what? Wish I was a normal girl. And then I love this pixie mist. I feel like there's probably better, more natural, like toner mist you can use. Y'all are gonna have to let me know a good mist. I feel like I've asked you guys this so much and nobody wants to tell me anything, so please. And then I'm gonna take my ordinary hyaluronic acid. When, like y'all saw, sorry about the shooting. It's just, you know, Call of Duty things. Anyone watch the new Love Island USA? Because, bitch, I just watched the episode last night. I just, it's so funny how ridiculous the challenges are. Like, they're just so basic. And like, yes, it's just, it's a very big dating show, very big on tradition. Like Love Island is very big on tradition, but like the way each challenge is like, oh, the big burly man, and then they're running and doing things, and then they scoop up the girl and she's just standing there, and then they kiss at the end. Like what the, and this doesn't even have to do with them including even gay people. It's even more, especially that, especially that, but like, they could even make the women do it. I mean, they do have challenges where they both like are doing something, but like that challenge kills me every time. Cause it's like the, they do that challenge every season and it's just such a funny challenge. And like, that's the point of the show, you know. Hot, sexy singles trying to find their love in the villa. I get it. People want to see them making out, I guess. But anyways, use the Kiehl's. I'm all out. We've been using up all of this. I can't even use this. I need to throw this away. It's probably expensive to be honest with you. Like most of the time, if you see me tr like using expensive skincare, it's because they sent it to me. Like I'm just not good at consistently buying good skincare, you know? Like, I mean, there's still good skincare in the drugstore, period. But you know what I mean? I'm just gonna use the Vichy one. She and the Kiehl's, these were amazing. 10 out of 10. It's a very thick cream, like very good for older skin probably. And then we also watch per watch per watch perfect match. What the fuck is that the point of that show? It's on Netflix. I'm just such a show watcher. I wanna do a reaction video to one so bad. Like they just came out with a freaking Zac Efron movie on Netflix. And I've started watching it low-key. Uh, what's her name? Off uh, Gypsy Rose. She's on like every single ne Netflix film ever. Y'all know who I'm talking about. You know the girl that plays Gypsy Rose and she's on like every single Netflix movie ever? Jody King. Joey. Oh, Joey King. Yeah, Joey King. I would never in a million years, but I mean, I should have expected it with the way they're pushing this bitch. She's a good actor. Let me not. But like, her and Zac Efron, I was not anticipating. <laughs> I'm gonna sit my tea. I can't talk shit because I didn't finish the movie, so. And then I've had this gua sha for a minute, but I need to do this more. Get a regular A. Come on in. I hate the word skinnier, actually. Like, I hate that I use it so much more. Maybe not just the word. Look at the Chipotle. This is the best day ever. This is my Chipotle order. Let me know your Chipotle order down below so I can judge you. Burrito with brown rice. Okay. Sometimes maybe, okay, I never get the tacos, but they're good. I also like the bowls, but I really only get the burrito. Brown rice, chicken, cheese, lettuce, and queso. I'm very plain. It's very good. It's literally just... mine is the same thing. Mm -hmm. We literally get the same thing. She'll get white rice, but like, if I'm feeling scandalous, maybe I'll get like pico de gallo, but I just end up regretting it. Like, I do love salsa. I do love tomatoes, but like, sometimes I just want it plain. Sometimes. Oh my gosh, guys. I have a collective clothing haul coming and I'm so excited. I ordered a bunch of shit, of course. I knew it was the wrong decision and it definitely was the wrong decision in the moment. Do I regret it? No, I really don't. Um, I've honestly been off of online shopping like for clothing for a minute. Like I've just been, of course I've gotten Halara stuff, but I ha I'm not off of it. Let me stop. We're having a mukbang. Like their chips and queso. Oh my God. And right whenever I got back, I was chief in the pen. So I'm like low key a little, 
I'm a little zooted. I'm activated. Spectacular. Give me 14 of them right now. And I haven't ordered from Shein. I'm like, I would say years, but it has not been years. Maybe like a year. But like, y'all know I've worked with Shein and we just like stopped working together. I'm just like, it's a company, but here I, here I am. I literally like gave them $300 of my money. I'm excited for the haul, babe, because there was a lot of cute stuff on there. All right. It's just so cute on there. It's so hard to resist. It's just so... Mm, look at this big ass burrito. I need to get a new battery. Burrito. Big bag, big bag, big bag, big bag. Yeah, my bag is loaded up with snacks. I've been wanting to try these on for a couple of days now. Just got a bunch of new like pajamas and lingerie from Avid Love. I want to thank them for sponsoring this part of the video. Avid Love is just a huge lingerie pajama. You do you hear the fireworks? A lingerie plus size lingerie company. They have so many different styles, so many different sizes. I would definitely recommend Avid Love. I'll have all the links down below. If I have a code for money off your order, I'll definitely add that. Yeah, I remember I got some like teddy dresses. Just some cute little lingerie going to sleep. Shout out to Avid Love. I'm excited to try these one. I'll make sure to leave all the links like I just said. You can get all of these pieces on their website, but I'm pretty sure you can also get them all on Amazon, which is really cool. So go ahead, just go see what they have to offer. I'm pretty sure they might have some like different Halloween costumes as well, like lingerie costumes. This first lingerie is called the Avid Love Plus Size Baby Doll for Women High Waist Chemise Floral Lace Lingerie. And I got this in a 3X and in black. So their lingerie comes with super cute little thongs, cute little underwear, little panties, okay? These definitely look a little bigger than the last time. Look at these. Look at the lace. I'm not really a big lace girly, but these are super cute. I'm excited to try this on. What their tag looks like. This is the 3X, which is basically like the 20. So this is a super cute high neck, but halter lace teddy. And I love how it's sheer. It has a different kind of bottom, but there's a super cute bow in the front. It has a choker on the top. It has a nice low back and it just comes with the panties. I feel like this definitely will be one of my favorites. I just love lingerie so much. It makes me feel so good about myself, whether that's me cleaning, doing the dishes, whatever. I just like to be in the house and be cute and sexy and just feel good. I'm telling you right now, if you don't have a cute teddy, you need to, or if you've never tried getting a teddy, you know, or even if you're plus size, yeah, and you've never gotten lingerie, like, just try it. Like, you don't even gotta wear it around nobody. You, you ain't gotta do that. When I get lingerie, I'm getting it for me. Like, I am not getting lingerie for nobody. Like, I like how I feel in it. I love their emerald greens. They have a lot of just cute green things. You can't tell my eyes are green. So I just feel like whenever I wear green, it matches really well. This piece is called the Avid Love Women's Lingerie Plus Size One Piece Teddy Body Suit. It's lingerie bourgeois. Bitch, these names are getting out of hand, but I'm pretty sure I got this in a 3X as well. This is a super cute bodysuit. So it kind of looks like a teddy, but it's not. And it has like a peplum sheer design at the bottom. There's lace all throughout on the torso and the bow in the middle right by the cleavage. Like it just is everything. The material of this is so, so, so soft. Like this is just so comfortable. I love this piece so much. I just think it complements my eyes so beautifully. So please let me know what you think about this. Like it's just giving mermaid. It's giving poison ivy. Poison ivy. Yep, that's that's what that's the word I'm trying to get. This next piece is of course another teddy. This is a really gorgeous red satin material. And right on the boobs, we got a cute little lace going on. We got it crossing in the back. And then we got this really cute detail of lace on the side where the thigh is. And this is just so cute. If you want to get a teddy that's not going to break the bank and is actually going to be comfortable, like you want to actually wear it to sleep, I really recommend Avid Love. This is just so cute. Like, look at the color, red, black, green. Like, those are just the perfect lingerie colors to me. And then, of course, it comes with a cute little G-string. You already know what's going on. I love how I can just get more underwear. Like, thank you. So this is a robe, and I'm super excited because I only have one robe. We got this really gorgeous lace detailing all the way down to the bottom. It's just a very basic, breathable, satin, black robe. I only have a little gray robe. I want a black. I want satin. I want classy. I want breathable. Okay, it's summer it is hot outside i want something i can breathe in but once again huge shout out to avid love for sponsoring this segment of the video and let's just continue on with the vlog it's a dubai chocolate bar look looks like a three musketeer oh Ch 
Chuck E. Cheese was getting getting way too crazy there. Now I'm all full. <sighs> kind of want to put pajamas on. It's been a great Sunday. Oh my god. I was going to show you this. My stoner. The stoner activity book. I got this off of Amazon. Well worth a, a, well worth the grab, okay? So I'm, I, I'm about to do it. But I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey y'all, it's the next day. I woke up so late. I just put my outfit on. I need to put my shoes on and I need to leave like in a minute. Like I'm going to meet up with one of my college friends that I haven't seen in like two years, a year. Um, I'm so excited. I'm going to see Sydney. I've had her in my vlogs before. We're gonna go get some food, go get some drinks. I'll see y'all there. gonna go get some food get some drinks i need to start the car i'm literally toasting i'm also like out of gas so that's great but we're just gonna be we're just gonna be driving off of no gas tank okay if we locked in you know switching up They're doing everybody dirty. We're not messed up for that. <laughs> everyone we just had some mimosas we're about to get some food we love it it feels so nice outside here um, we were just here now they have a new location Lord. thank you i didn't know it's yeah that's <laughs> y'all have to show this right now so this is kind of like a moo like a nightgown. Isn't this the cutest nightgown you've ever seen? I don't know if it's vintage or what, but it says you're very special. Like this is so cute. I know, I don't know if I hold it with you guys. The, the clothes I got at the mall, I might just do it right now. But there's like a little cut on the side. Like this is the cutest nightgown ever. And you see the bears? Like, I know you see these bears, so cute. The place me and Cindy went to, it was really fun. We just got some mimosas and then we were gonna get Hawaiian food, but the place that I just went to for Hawaiian food, they moved places. So we just went and got ice cream and then she took pictures of me and it was just, I just love besties like that. Like we can just sit here and vent and talk and then take pictures after, get a little mimosa. And yeah, this is the first time we've hung out. I know you're watching this Sydney, so hey girl, in a long time, I'd say like, in a year like it's been a minute but i just missed her so much she lives five hours away and we're definitely gonna see each other more so that's good and look at the bow i just can't with this okay but the place we just went to had a thrift thing and i vlogged it on my instagram thrift event thing okay so they had multiple tents with like clothing vendors and stuff like that and i found the craziest i found the most insane vintage pickup ever like this is actually insane Oh my god. This nightgown I have on is from a thrift store in the mall near me. So this isn't where I got this from, but look at this. This is a vintage rock aware like zip up. It, it's kind of giving me like bikini cover up, but I feel like this would be so fire with like a red bikini. Like I need to get a red bikini because I don't have a red bikini. This was a lot. This was $40 and I just, it was really expensive, but I feel like it was worth it from dig and pick vintage goods. So cool. I have yet to try it on. It has a hood. 
as a hood. Like, this is just the coolest thing to me. It better fit me. We found this shirt, which was really funny. It's like a Colorado, like vintage, like business shirt. And it says, Mary Jane's a bitch, Winter Park, Colorado. Like, I don't even know where Winter Park, Colorado is, but Mary Jane's a bitch. Like, it's just so funny. Um, and this was like a $30 shirt. Oh, this was a $45 shirt. And we did not know it was that expensive or we wouldn't have got it, but I think it's iconic. And then the back says, I went down, I went down on Mary Jane. Like just because it's funny doesn't mean you can charge it for $45. Cause this is a fruit of the loom, bitch. This is fruit of the loom. This can't be that vintage to be $45. This shirt is so iconic. If this shirt does not fit me, I would literally cry sad tears and sit in the corner for the rest of my life. Bitch, this is a stretchy shirt. So I feel like this is gonna fit me. This is a Cats the Musical shirt. Are you kidding me? This is so vintage. Like it's an extra large and look at the eyes. Look at the eyes on the back. This is the coolest thing ever. This was, this was $35. I feel like this should be $45 and the other one should be, cause why was the other one so expensive? But this is the most iconic shit. Like I know it'll be like a crop top on me, but look at the face. The stuff is what I got at the mall. So where I got this, this thing. So I've always wanted like an off the shoulder look. And this is like a Hard Rock Cafe Aspen. Hard Rock Cafe Aspen, like they have one in Aspen. I feel like I might have to cut it more because I have really broad shoulders, but it's like already cut. It says save the planet, Hard Rock Cafe. It's just cute. I know it's summer, but I love a good hoodie and just the fact that it was already cut. I can like stretch it out like this, um, but this is just a pink lace tank top. And if this doesn't fit me, well, I don't know. I don't know if any of this was gonna fit me, but I'm so happy I got this freaking nightgown. This is the cutest nightgown of my life. You're very special. Like I better not lose this shit. And like I just said, I got those last week. I did not get those today, but I've never did a haul. So I need to show you. I'm like contemplating if I want to go do the treadmill today. Maybe I'll just do it tomorrow. I kind of just want to like chill. It's already probably like it's six o'clock. So I'm about to just make a pork chop really fast. I would have brought Sydney to look at the apartment, but she just had no time. She's staying with like a family friend here. So yeah, she's never seen my apartment. We haven't seen each other in so, so, so long, but yeah. We love a good rekindling. We love seeing friends after a long time. It's so iconic. I don't think there's anything else I wanna say right now. I need to make the pork chop, but I'm also like not hungry because I just had milkshake and I'm low key disappointed. I had that place before, but this is super liquidy. Like, what is this? This is not a malt. Like if you've had a malt, I feel like malts are thick. Oh, I forgot. I like stopped and got gas. I was gonna stop at the store because I wanna get flowers. But yeah, I'm just gonna have to see y'all tomorrow. I'm making this like a whole weekly vlog. I didn't think I was going to, but fuck it. What else I got to do but vlog? Like, this is so fun. I just want it to be a little hotter because I just wanna go be in the pool in like 90 degrees, but it's only been like 80 degrees. <laughs> went to Ulta so I have to do a haul. I have the most flaky dandruffy hair ever but this is the Redken Scalp Relief Purathione Zinc Dandruff Shampoo. My favorite shampoo. This is the one I normally get and this is the hair cleansing cream. So I just re-upped this one and I got this one to try so this is the best one especially if you have like thicker hair. If you have issues with buildup. These will get you right. And then I just decided to get another hair brush. I just love getting new brushes wet brush. I kind of hate the MAC Fix Plus spray. So I just got another Morphe Jumbo setting spray. I don't know. I just don't like the matte look all the time. Best setting spray. I just got another lip butter from Tree Hut. So that's my Ulta haul. I did not do the treadmill today. Um, I might get in the shower because I really want to try this. See y'all later. Cool.
collapse. These are just not turning out. My dick like good coat. Put some water to slide in it. She on a nigga to dive in it. Pop it, baby, pop it. Come here, baby. Come here. You better think twice when you come for our family. Honey, you're gonna cause a fatality. You're not gonna get far. She only wants to kick. Bitch, I'm Kareem. I'm about to. Look at that. Pizza. I'm gonna die. Time to eat some pizza. I never laugh. I never laugh. And I just, I enjoyed talking to her. So, I was having a good time. We're not here for the Cordell slander. I think Cordell deserves Daya. I think Serena's playing around because, yeah, I'm sorry. I know she's saying she's a slow burner, but I don't believe it. Guys, you can't see me, but you know, just been crying. You know, <sighs> it's fine. Fourth of July. <laughs> hey, bitches. As you can see, they're. Oh, period. They were just having a whole like freaking show right here. Fourth of July, you guys. I know I haven't vlogged a hella today. I really haven't vlogged much. I didn't really do much today, um, except get ready, make cute TikToks, and go watch some fireworks. And it's been great. Yeah, earlier we had some pizza, watched Love Island because they came out with the episode today, and I've just been drinking a nice little screwdriver just chillaxing we just went to the park that like normally you can like see all around the city you know lots of fireworks they've been doing hella fireworks just on my street like right outside my house so we've just been watching let me know if like your family's the type to like do fireworks and like you know all of that my family like we don't every time it's fourth of july we were always like going somewhere else and like my parents have like this one like house that they go to but it's been it's been quite the eventful day but that's basically it y'all i'm so excited i'm about to buy plane tickets to go see my niece and i'm so excited like I need to go visit her before like july ends or like the babe is gonna be scared of me like i don't know she's like almost a year old she turns a year in october i know it's july but like i need to go see her and if you don't know i'm an aunt i'm an auntie now i hope you guys had a good fourth of july even celebrates anymore i mean i just like looking at the fireworks i'll definitely keep you updated with how the rest of this week goes i feel like it's gonna be a little a little discombobulated it is so good and recently like i'm not a heavy drinker as much anymore if you follow me on snapchat and instagram <laughs> You might think something different, but like in college, I did drink a lot. I, I will say I did. And I would have these sometimes, but recently I've been on these. These are the screwdrivers. And normally we just be taking shots, but I'm like, girl, just give me a screwdriver. Like, let me just chill with my screwdriver. Hopefully tomorrow I'm going to get on the treadmill because I've not gone on it in like two days, but that was kind of not the plan. But, you know, I'm just happy that I'm actually going and doing it. I don't want to, I don't want to stress myself out if I skip some days every week, but you know, it is what it is. Most of the time it's harmless. For instance, in the pods, he shows a weird. <laughs> Cause we 
looking like icebergs, looking like glacier thugs. Yeah. All those girls cool, so we race the boys. Not on my face, she gon' taste the boy. Youngest in the room, yeah. hit the street, sleep, no broom. Yeah. Saw the plane go boom. Yeah. Oh, this nigga thought the boat was a coon. I reserve his daughter for June. Yeah. Beat that pussy to a tune. Yeah. Iceberg, ice trays. City culture nigga, no tight up, but we the way. White ice, dark shades. Nothing gon' work in that crispy cray, ice glaze. I can get sick with the jury, no age. If my hand is old, you look at the age. I get the bag and walk on the stage. That's what you call us, new ice age. Right. 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 Get your man a plug. If I ain't need no takeout, probably think he's selling drugs. If I ain't need no Quavo, probably think he's selling blood. I said, told me San Pablo, cause he got the sound of drugs. <laughs> Nigga shoot in the club. Shitting on my new bitch, then I went and bought a rug. Got that work with a spatula, with number to show the shrug. Chef 30 bitches on the bachelor, they know them M's up. Get in there. No nigga look down like a millionaire. Vision up. I had a drink, cook a dope, but my motherfucker vision up. Look it up. So the good to make a million out the kitchen with no underwear. Get him out of here. I'ma shoot a hundred round draw to the end to get another pill. Get in there. No nigga look down like a millionaire. I had a drink, cook a dope, but my motherfucker vision up. Vision up. I'ma take the ratchets and put it in a brick of fell. It was one well, that was pink clip. But gets all wet like a sink clip. My diamonds singing like baddies. They gon' shoot out the one on one addies. We got baddies on baddies on baddies. Walk through the mall, I start up a pep rally. Dripping too much, I can't put on no balance. Not slipping, no tripping, I'm holding my balance. Yeah. Feed your bitch dick, it's organic. Yeah. Kill, test, pussy, boy, panic. Bo-bo. I can't go out like Titanic. So, no. I saw my wrist gigantic. <laughs> Bro, keep a pot, no ceramics. Yeah. Let's your boy check my dynamics. Yeah. That girl set it down. Shoot your boyfriend, he talk down. Niggas run me, keep running around. <laughs> they gon' head out. Yeah.
I'm not sweating too crazy, but honestly, these first couple of workouts, I just need to get back into it. So I just gotta get my body moving. So if that's just doing whatever I can, then that's just me doing whatever I can. I did like 30 minutes on the treadmill. I did some crunches, did some ab workouts. Y'all, I didn't even show you, but I finally have a yoga mat. After how many years as a dancer, I finally have a yoga mat. So, I think next time I come to the gym, I'm gonna do like a yoga video, you know. I just love yoga, so. I'm excited, I, sh I should go take a Pilates class or something. Thanks for coming to another workout. I brought slides this time, <laughs> so my feet aren't hurting. These are literally like industrial shoes, um, but these are my girlfriend's like work shoes. These were actually great for the treadmill. So these are just gonna have to be my new exercise shoes right now. Let me get my keys out, cause I need to go check the mail. We're gonna go take a shower, make some dinner. I might sit outside a little bit, it is really nice. It's kind of like, I think it's like 75, but got my keys. I just got black on, ew, I don't know what the f I don't know why I'm using this cute ass bag as my gym bag anyways. With this Velcro holder, I got this off a of TikTok shop. Let's go get the mail. Let's go have a chill rest of our day, okay? Okay, yeah, you see that sweat? You know, it was pretty relaxed workout. <laughs> So I just got my mail. I'm so excited for this. Look at this packaging. Look at this packaging. But I'm not opening this in today's vlog. Ah! So I've been wanting this bathing suit set since I've seen it. You all know the bathing suit set I'm talking about. This is Body by Raven Tracy. They just opened a store in LA. I'm like, yes. I love their business. I've been wanting this for so long and I went ahead and bought it. It's basically a bikini with a skirt. It was like a hundred dollars. It was worth it. Look at this. It says, all bodies are good bodies. I'm pro, it's none of my business what she wants to do with her body. Your body loves you, love it back. Girls just wanna have fundamental rights. I am enough, I am smart, I attract positivity, I am confident, I attract opportunities, I am kind, I am worthy. My curves are where they are meant to be and there is nothing shameful about that. You are loved, you are wonderfully made, you are beautiful, you have purpose. Dear body, I love you. Body by Raven Tracy. I've wanted this jumpsuit they have on, the cartoon. I love the jumpsuit, but it's summer. Um, it's not the color I specifically wanted, but it is pink, so it's very cute. Stay tuned for probably my next video, which is a collective clothing haul. Um, not sponsored or anything. I bought a bunch of different online websites, you know. Sorry guys, I'm out of breath, but there's that. We got a letter from, I don't know. Um, we got an enrollment for kindergarten. I'm gonna just get in the shower. Um, I'm using a new shampoo because my flakes have really been flaking. So my girlfriend was like, let me wash your hair in the sink. So I was like, okay, you can wash my hair in the sink because it's just so much better to really get to the scalp and shit because my hair is so dandruffy. Like the dandruff is crazy. Like I feel like it's a medical condition or something. I mean, y'all saw it. I just got this. So I feel like this is gonna be amazing. I'm just gonna chill a little bit and then we're gonna get in the shower. See you guys soon. Time for Love Island. She's a carnivore tonight. Got some, got some steak. Yeah, they got some more pizza. Love Island bag. 7 p.m. Friday. <laughs> and I got some tea. Doo -doo -doo. Hey y'all, believe it's the next day. Last night we watched Love Island and I was a carnivore eating all that meat. Yeah, that was yesterday. So today is Saturday, July 6th. We were thinking of going out tonight, so if I end up going out tonight vlogging or doing anything else, I will definitely put this in here, but I'm eating my little banana chips again. And yeah. Today I woke up with like four bug bites. There's literally one on my back. If you can see my bug bite. 
I woke up with a big ass one on my toe. I think it's just from sitting outside on the 4th of July, but seriously, they fucking itch. These, this is like the first time I've had bug bites like this whole time, like, cause I have not been outside. <laughs> I'm like, bitch. These mosquitoes aren't catching me slacking, but I use the new shampoo and I love it. It's amazing. I don't see no flakes. Jay's about to come back from work, so we're probably gonna eat some food, watch today's episode of Love Island. Oh yeah, I did wanna talk about me. I know I put it in that I was crying on the 4th of July, but I'm gonna be real with y'all, so I didn't wanna take it out of the vlog. Just seeing everyone, you know, with their family. My girl just didn't wanna come sit outside with me, and I was like, why not? Like, the fuck? That shit just made me cry. Like, just, it's just beautiful. The fireworks were just so beautiful, it made me over here cry. And yeah, I hope you guys had a good week. I'm getting this up real, real quick, okay? It's only July 6th. Hopefully I'm getting this up in the next couple of days. But all of today, I've been editing this vlog. So make sure you guys go check out Anna Luisa and Avid Love. I did not go to the gym today, but um, I'm about to go to the mailbox real quick, actually. My new glasses are here. I know y'all are probably sick of these. I've had these glasses for a while. I don't know how long I've had these glasses. But I finally got new glasses off of Zlul, and that's where I got these ones. And I got a new eyeglass prescription, and I haven't got new glasses for it yet. Like my contacts are like for my new prescription, but this is still my old prescription. I got clear glasses, and I've like never had clear glasses. I'm gonna just go get those real fast so I can show you guys. So here are the glasses. These better be cute. These better be wide. These better be cute. It came with a ruler to measure your pupillary distance, which is annoying to measure. <laughs> As you can see, these are very basic clear glasses. The new prescription is a little wild. Is the clear giving? I look like an old lady. Man, let me know what these glasses are looking like. I feel like they're cute, but that's gonna be everything for me. So proud of myself, two weekly vlogs in a row. Sand, I feel like filming a weekly vlog is so stressful. Like just making sure you get everything and vlogging literally every fucking second. Like it's just, it's a lot. So I really appreciate the love on every weekly vlog I do. Y'all always love my weekly vlogs. So I'm gonna definitely start doing more just back to back to back, hopefully. That's everything for me. Let me show you the box. You see that big old box? That's how big my Shein haul is about to be. So make sure you come to my next video. A big ass collective haul. And those are some of the packages as well. I love a good collective haul. Are the glasses giving? I feel like I love these so much. And I know you guys said to get rid of this palm tree canvas, but I can't. I don't know. Like I didn't even get the canvas. It was my sister's canvas. But like, I feel like it's just filling up the wall. So that's gonna be everything for me. I love you guys so, so, so much. Peace out, Girl Scout.